Okay, so what we're going to do now is start to move on into this tooth over here. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure that our snapping is enabled and we're back on increment. And you want to make sure that this is switched back to global because I believe we had switched to normal in the previous lesson. And here under edit mode, we're just going to make sure that uh, this is still enabled. So just do A to select everything and then A to deselect everything. So hover your mouse over this tooth right over here and press the L key and just press the period key to home in on it and just do the scroll wheel to zoom out. Press the 7 key to go to your top view. So what we have to do is actually move this tooth out over here. So we're going to click on the red arrow and take it to the right one time and then click on the green arrow and bring it down one time over here. Just going to zoom in, do Control R at an edge loop over here, left click and then right click, do Control R at an edge loop over here, left click and then right click. Now just do the middle mouse button to rotate like this, do Control R at an edge loop over here, left click and then right click. Press the Alt key down and right click over here so you select this whole outer edge. If I press the Z key you can see what I've selected. So we're we're just going to press the S key to scale, 1, 2, 3 over here, left click to confirm, do W smooth, and here we can press the Z key to go into solid view, press the 1 key to go into the front view and just bring it down because it always goes up. Next we're going to click on this edge over here, shift key down and then this one, so I'm just going to show you that this is what I have selected. So go to your top view by pressing the 7 key, so we want to actually move this outwards along the normals. So here we're just going to go over here and switch to normal and click on the red arrow and bring it out one time over here. Next, click on this edge and just rotate with your middle mouse button, shift key down, click on this edge, press the 7 key to go to your top view, click on the red arrow, go to the left, 1 and then 2 over here. Then do the middle mouse button to rotate like this. Now zoom in. So go ahead and click on this edge, shift key down and then this one. So see how I've selected these edges. So it does rotate over here, shift key down, and then this one. So make sure you've selected it like this, okay? We're going to press the S key to scale and just scale it out one and then two nudges like this over here. Okay, so next we're going to click on the face select mode. We're still in normals over here, so go ahead and click on this, shift key down, this one, this one, this one, and press the 7 key to go to your top view. So here you can see because we have the normals, it's working just fine. So over here we had to do it a different way. Okay. So press the S key to scale and then the Y key two times. One, two, and do one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Left click to confirm. Click on the red arrow. Bring it out. One and then two over here. Switch to the edge select mode. Click on this edge, shift it on this one. Now do control three. So you can see that this tooth is in the middle so again we're just going to come to the modifiers tab and click on this guy over here so it'll only show the other half. So here I'm just going to switch again to global. Again this can cause issues when you have it on normal so I'm going to do global and click on the blue arrow and bring it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Let it go, click on this edge, shift key down, this one, bring it down, one, two, three, four. Click on this edge and just rotate over here, shift key down this one, and just do W and then smooth one time over here. Okay, so next we're going to click on this edge, shift key down this one, and then do W and then smooth it one time over here. So next, what we want to do is we want to click on the face select mode, click on this face, shift key down this one, then switch to the edge select mode, shift key down, click on this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, do shift E, then nudge it one, two, three, four, five. Remember you want to look at the header for the 3D view on the bottom left to see what I did. And just left click to confirm over here. So next what we're going to do is we're going to click on this edge over here we're going to do W and then smooth it out one time like this and then we're going to click on this edge over here you can see that and press the 7 key 
So over here, we want to actually switch to normals. So this will give us the ability to click on this blue arrow and bring it out one and then two over here. Then do the middle mouse button, click on this one, shift it on this one. Then you just do W and then smooth. And you can see the how we use that technique. Um, I did tap to go back into object mode to get this angle over here. Okay, just do A to D select everything. So next what we're going to do is click on this edge, shift key on this one, go to the front view, and over here we're going to switch to global first. Okay, so click on this blue arrow to bring these two edges down. See how I've selected these? So bring it down one and then two over here, then switch over here, click on this one, and what you want to do is switch to normals over here. We want to click on this blue arrow. So I'm going to press the three key to go into the right view and just click this down one time over here. Okay, so it'll just bring it out this way. And here I'm just going to switch to global. And what we want to do is actually click on the green arrow for press the seven key. Just bring it out this way over here and on the red arrow to bring it out then click on this one so here we have to do it two ways uh, first we have to click on the normals over here press the three key to look at it this way bring it out one time over here switch to global and then bring it down okay if you do tab you can see how we've defined this too now again this is the top of the map right so what you can do is actually just do the middle mouse button to rotate to get a better understanding of how you're doing this right so you can see how this is starting to come along okay so it's difficult to see this when you're doing it upside down okay so I'm just gonna press the one key over here and just do tab to go into edit mode and let's go ahead and actually I'm gonna just switch this on for a second okay and we're just gonna check a few things over here and press the one key over here and press the three key to go to the right view and we're going to click on this and now switch this off because what we want to do is actually bring this out so switch to the normal so we can click on the blue arrow press the 7 key and very slightly just move it out a little bit to just make it a little more rounder over here and over here we can just switch back to global okay so here I'm just going to do tab over here now again we're going to have to come back in here and modify the gums let's go ahead and now save this over here so I'm just gonna do file and then save it as gain as lesson 16 again you can save it as 16.2 or whatever you want okay so let's go ahead and press the tab key to go back into edit mode I'm just gonna zoom in over here and A to D select everything I'm gonna do shift middle mouse button to bring this to Kind of like here in the center and just rotate it over here like so so what we want to do is add a sharper edge in the uh, inner side over here of the two so go ahead and just click on this edge edge shift key down and click on this one and make sure your snapping is enabled because we had disabled it so let's go ahead and click it we're going to do shift e again and again just look at the header over here shift e and i'm going to do one two three four over here and left click to confirm A to D select. Now if you haven't noticed this already uh, here you can see that we have purple lines over here right so it depends on how much crease you're going to put on so this will actually become darker if it's only uh, let's say uh, one edge crease if you only like nudge the mouse one time so it's based on those gradients so here i'm just going to show you i'm going to do this i'm going to click on this edge i'm going to do shift e over here and i'm just going to do it one time a to dz see how this is black over here let's click on this and do shift e and let's take it like all the way out and then do a so you can see that it gets brighter okay so we're going to just undo that control z control z control z control z control z just going to do a to dz so it'll just go away anyways so now let's go ahead and work on this too so we're going to actually come back in here and rotate just this thing a little bit and we're going to smooth this out over here because it's going to collide over here with this too so let's go ahead and 
uh, just press the L key to select it, press the period key to home in on this, and then do A to D select everything. So let's do Control R and add an edge loop going this way over here. Just right click to get out of it. Control R, left click, and then right click, and just rotate it over here. Do Control R, left click, and then right click. So I'm going to press the Alt key and click on this edge. Same thing, press the S key to scale, one, two, three. Do W smooth, go to the front view by pressing the one key. Click on this blue arrow and bring it down one time over here and then A to D select everything. So let's go ahead and rotate it over here. Click on this edge, shift key down this one, do W and then smooth to bring it in a little bit over here. Click on this edge, press the seven key to go to your top view. Click on this green arrow one time over here. Next, we're going to rotate with the middle mouse button. Click on this edge, shift key down this one. Go back to the top view by pressing the seven key. Click on this red arrow to bring it to the right one time and this green arrow bring it to the left. Again, we're just creating an organic shape over here. So we're just going to rotate over here now to the back side. Click on this one, shift key down this one, do W smooth only one time. Click on this one, shift key down this one. Then do W smooth, one, two, three, and then four. Then click on this guy, do W smooth one time over here. So again, we're just getting the basic shape down first. Okay, now we're going to do Control R and add an edge loop over here. Left click and then right click. Switch to the vertex select mode. Click on this vertex. Just rotate over here. Shift key down this one, this one, and this one. I'm going to press the seven key to go to your top view. Press the S key to scale, and bring it in. One, two, three, four, five, over here. And we're just going to do it all five over here. So next, what we need to do. Um, is actually click on this one, shift key down this one, and this one over here. And we're going to go to the front, actually press the three key to go to your right view so you can see it. And we're going to uh, bring this down one, two, three, four, and five, and then six. And it's going to come in like this. So now we do control R, add an, another edge loop over here, left click, and then right click over here. And then we're going to click on this shift key down this one scale it in one two three go to press the three key to go to the right view press the z key and bring it down one two over here and then press the z key to go back to solid view do the middle mouse button to rotate click on this guy go back to your right view by pressing the three key press the z key and just bring it up one two press the z key over here you can see what we're getting if i do tap you can see how this two it's so different from this one we're going to still modify this but here you what you should do is take the opportunity to just take your tongue and feel how these teeth are and just notice how different this one is inside your own mouth so i'm going to do tab over here to go back into edit mode so we're going to uh, fix this area here now so what we want to do is click on this one shift key down this one this one this one and we're going to scale this out Press the S key, one, two, three, to just widen it up a little bit. Same thing here. Click on the, click on these two guys. Press the S key, one, two, three, and then four. Then click on these one. Press the three key and just bring it up one time over here. Okay. So next, what we want to do is actually uh, first click on this one, this one, this one, and this one. We're going to scale this in a little bit scale one two and then now click on this one click on this one and we're going to press s key to scale one two over here just to widen it up if i do tab you can see that how this is coming along over here i'm going to do tab over here so what we want to do is click on this guy and this guy and you can see that if i do tab see how this is going we just want it to come up a little bit over here uh, the way this is so i'm going to press the three key and just bring it up one time over here just to get this uh curvature over here for this shape if you do tab you can see that we're starting to get a nice idea for this too okay so if you notice that over here see how this is colliding so we're going to basically correct this now stuff like this isn't really such a big deal over here okay so it's going to still collide a little bit but the reason we're doing it this way is because we want these to be very close together 
Now you can feel this on your own uh, top of your own teeth to see how close these are. They're really uh, bunched up together. Okay, so we're going to do tab over here. I'm just going to click on uh, actually switch to the edge select mode. Click on this edge, hit get on this one. Then do W and then smooth it one time over here. Okay, to bring it in. And next, we're going to click on this one and just do W smooth one time over here. And if I do tab, you can see that how this starts to go away. Okay. Okay, so here, I'm just going to rotate this a little bit over here. Now, what we want to do over here is go ahead and click on the vertex like button and let's click off the snapping over here. Okay, so we've got the general idea for this too. Now you can come in here and modify some of these concepts here if you wanted to, okay? For example, if I uh, click on this one, I can click on the blue arrow just to give give it very, again, these are micro movements. I'm just going to, let's say, push this up a little bit, click on this one and push it down because I don't want it to be so, uh, some, uh, you know, uh, we just want it to be a little more organic looking basically is what I'm getting at. Okay, so over here we can click on this and bring this up a little bit more and then click on this one and bring this down. Okay, so you can see that how this is starting to curve. See like how this pattern is over here. So I can do the same thing. Click on this, click on the blue arrow, bring it up. Click on this one, click on the blue arrow, click on this and just make it a little more sharper. Okay, and this will give you the two. So let's look at it from this angle over here, from the top. See how this tooth is going to be here. So I'm going to press the one key over here, okay, and actually go to the right view by pressing three. And here we can press the eight key. So if you press eight, it'll just rotate in this direction, so you can see it this way, okay. And if you press four, you can turn it around this way if you just want to look at it from these uh, specific angles. Or you can just do the middle mouse button to look at it this way as to how this is shaping up to be. So anyways, as I said, we want to rotate this guy here a little bit. So we're going to do tab, go into edit mode, click on the face select mode and make sure snapping is enabled. Click on this face shape key down this one. And here I'm just going to press the period key to home in on this. Click on this one, this one, press the seven key and just do R to rotate and then you can rotate it. I'm going to do that again. Press the R key to rotate. I'm going to rotate it by one like this, A to D select. So this is again, is just a micro move. So if we do tab, we can see how this whole idea is coming along. Okay, so here we can now finally save this. I'm just going to save it again, file, save, and I will see you in the next lesson. Thank you.